Hello, my name is Alexandra Ferreron and I am a PhD candidate at the University of Zaragoza in Spain. It is my pleasure to present our work Concertina, squeezing in cash content to operate at near threshold voltage. This paper appears on the special issue of defect and fault tolerance in VLSI and nanotechnology systems of the IEEE Transactions on Computers Journal. My co-authors in this work are Darío Suárez, Jesús Alastruey and Pablo Ibáñez from the University of Zaragoza and Teresa Monreal from UPC Barcelona. The number of transistors that we integrate on a chip keeps increasing thanks to Moore's law, but now we are constrained by the amount of power that devices dissipate. Then our scaling has come to an end. We cannot keep the same power budget across generations. As a result, with each new generation, the dark silicon, transistors that cannot be switched on due to thermal limit, increases. A promising solution is operate devices at near threshold voltages. Near threshold voltage computing proposes to decrease the supply voltage to values near the threshold voltage. By doing this, we reduce the energy per operation, but devices become slower. However, as we reduce the power density, we are able to switch on more resources and therefore compensate the delay for running more things in parallel. The main issue of computing at near threshold is the sensitivity to parameter variations of on-chip caches filled with SRAM cells. This sensitivity manifests as hard faults when decreasing the voltage supply below a certain minimum. The failures depend on the manufacturing process, technology, dimension of the SRAM cells, among others. The total number of failures per cache entry is not high, but as failures appear in random locations, a very high percentage of the cache entries will show at least one faulty cell. Our observation is that there is a lot of natural redundancy in the data, for example, consecutive zeros. So why don't we try to compress cache blocks so they fit in faulty entries? Our objective is to use 100% of the cache entries, faulty and unfaulty, with a minimum cache architectural changes. And why does this approach work? It is best based in two key observations. First, the faults are spread. In this plot we see for one of the SRAM cells we consider in our study, the percentage of entries that have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or more than 4 faults when we consider 1 byte subentries. The subentry is the granularity at what we can detect and mark the faults in our cache entry. So for example, if we are considering one byte subentries and there is a failure in one cell, we will mark the whole byte as defective. What we can conclude from this data is that the number of faults per cache entry is relatively small, and therefore the amount of data that has to be compressed is small. However, most of the entries, in this case 72% of them, will have at least one fault, so we also need to be able to compress as many blocks as possible. The second observation is that there is actually a lot of potential in the data. A second plot shows for the SPEC CPU 2006 benchmarks the average number of blocks that have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or more than 4 null sub blocks. And what we see is that a high percentage of the blocks have more than 4 null sub blocks when we consider 1 byte sub blocks. In conclusion, there is a potential and we need a compression technique with a high coverage and a low compression ratio. Here we have the design overview of our approach. Concertina adds to the last level cache some compression and decompression logic, a null sublock detector, and some storage for the compression metadata. That means where are the faults and where are the zeros in a given block. When a block is about to be inserted in the cache, we check that the amount and position of zeros of that block and store the data in the compression map table. Then, we check if the block fits in any cache entry of the corresponding cache set and rearrange the contents of the block so the non-zero sub-blocks are stored in the non-faulty sub-entries. To recover the data, we just need to read the fault and compression maps and use a very simple combinational logic to rearrange the sub-blocks of the original cache block, introducing the zeros in the correct position. 
Existing cache management policies rely on the assumption that the block can be stored in any entry of a cache set. However, in Concertina, a block cannot be stored in any, cache, in any entry of a cache set. For instance, a block with one null subblock cannot be allocated to a cache entry with two faults. Concertina also implements a replacement algorithm on top of the LRU replacement that searches for a victim among the entries whose effective size, the number of non-faulty sub-entries, is at least the size of the compressed blocks. Concertina's main overhead is the storage of the fault and compression metadata. The most straightforward implementation is to store one bit per sub-entry or sub-block. In that case, a fault map for a 64-byte cache entry, assuming two byte sub-entries, would occupy 32 bits. However, only a small percentage of the cache entries have more than four faulty sub-entries, which leads us to propose a new implementation based on pointers. Coming back to our previous example, for a 2 byte sub-entry and two pointers, each pointer will need a total of five bits. The information in the bit map can therefore be encoded with pointers, which greatly reduces the storage requirements. We explore different configurations that trade off coverage for overhead, and we compare our approach with some of the state with some state-of-the-art techniques. In this plot, we see the last level cache misses per kilo instruction normalized to a robust cell, that is a cell that does not fail. We find that pointers obtain similar results to those obtained with bitmaps and greatly reduce the storage requirements. For example, a configuration of one byte size using three pointers have a similar misses per kilo instruction than a robust cell, offering a large improvement over some previously proposed techniques. In summary, the main issue of near threshold voltage operation is the appearance of faults in the SRAM cache structures at low voltages. To address this problem, we propose Concertina, a new last level cache that compresses cache blocks to reduce their size so they can fit into entries with non-functional cells. Concertina ensures the use of 100% of the last level cache capacity through a low overhead insertion and replacement policy that combines block compressibility and fault awareness to enable a smart allocation of blocks to cache entries. Our low overhead design, based on pointers, greatly reduced Concertina storage requirements, with a minimal performance degradation of 1% for C3 cells with respect to the realistic defect-free last level cache. Thank you for listening to this presentation. We invite you to read our full paper and please contact us if you have any questions or feedback.